How do you do, viewers of Thew? Yes, indeed. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Thew, and we're going to have a cheeky dive back into the P.O. Box for a bit. Box 55, one hand, Lee Street, Nottingham, and G15B. And to kick us off, we have a familiar package. So this is clearly from Matty Burns, the fellow who uh, enjoys drawing me in varying situations with Tentacle. What a life I live, receiving drawings of myself, either being murdered by or partying with the Octopus Transformer. It's only a matter of time before we get a really filthy one. Here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I'm having some kind of skateboard adventure, some kind of totally rad antics. That is not flattering. I mean, it's not inaccurate, and he's even calling me a dork. Which, again, not incorrect, but settle down. Flipping heck. So, I guess, thanks for not killing me this time. But you've uh, you've done a number on my self-esteem, cheers. You certainly are the champ at making me feel gross about everything. What's up, baby? How we doing? Grab a drink and clap your hands, because it's time to do the robot dance. Anyway, let's get this back on track, shall we? We've got a huge package from uh, somewhere in High Wickham. It is as heavy as it is massive, as am I. Speaking of heavy, I'll tell you something cool I got to do recently. A bit earlier this month, I accidentally won tickets to a secret machine head gig. Unbelievable, because like they're on tour at the moment, they're doing like the big venues, like Brixton Academy, Victoria Warehouse in Manchester, the serious venues. And I saw this post on Twitter from Kerrang, answer this dead easy question about Machine Head, and you could win VIP tickets. And like, I love Machine Head. They're like one of my legacy favorite bands. Like I have a bit of a weird relationship with them now, because like half the time they're like the best metal band on the planet. And the other half, they're just a bit sort of shit and cringe, super inconsistent. But uh, they were just like, email us with the answer and see what happens. So I did. And they were like, sweet, see you Sunday. And what it turned out it was, it wasn't like backstage pass VIP or whatever. It was a totally separate secret gig between the big shows just on a Sunday in a tidy pub in London with like 50 people and um, Kerrang were there and they filmed it. But like, I got to go to it and it was just the best vibe. Everyone was so buzzed and the band were like, it was kind of a joke to them that they were doing it. They're like, they just step off this gigantic tour bus that's bigger than the venue. The kind of venue that my band used to play, like just a pub, like the size of a city terrace house. And there's like Rob Flynn and Logan Maiden and Chris Contos, like original Burn My Eyes lineup, doing most of Burn My Eyes, 10 feet from my face. And I was just like, just blown away. I couldn't believe it. And like, it was in the deepest, darkest London. So I had to like travel down and then back on the same, it was on a Sunday. I had to get like three trains. Ah, uh, but I got to shake Rob Flynn's hand and tell him he was brilliant. Completely worth it. It was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. But like, since that, I'm on such a machine head kick again. I haven't been able to get Death Church out of my head all week. I was just like 14 again for an hour. It was amazing. Anyway, so that's what did happen. Let's look at what's happening now, shall we? Best of you, hope life is treating you well. Work was kind enough to let me take away a few trains. Transformers were no longer selling? Oh, it's from Joe at uh, Crosshairs Productions. Excellent. Keep churning out that sweet, sexy content, and I'll catch you at TF Nation in a few months' time. Oh, God. Okay, this is... This is from May. God, I'm bad at this. <laughs> just sometimes they end up at the back of the room, and then they just sit there for a bit, and months pass, and... Sorry, Joe. But you must know, Joe, right? Crosshairs, he does the old uh, stop-motion animations and such. Lovely fun. Let's see what he's packaged up for old few. Oh, God, no! <laughs> oh, boy, why? Not him! Not him! It's the remote control skids. Squeaks. I keep saying skids, and I mean squeaks. It's... Annoying name that begins with an S. Oh, God. Chihuahua, indeed. I don't know what to make of this. Oh, they tried so hard to make squeaks happen, didn't they? Toys, remote control stuff, all kinds of merch. They did everything except make him good in the film. I got him. Okay. Jesus Christ, mate. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. That's enough for you, mate. I wonder why it didn't take off. I suppose that's kind of fun. Thanks, Joe. But also, what a nightmare. <laughs> Rowdy little bastard. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so we've also got a Technic Lego little kit 
This looks pretty sort of vintage, actually. 1999? Technic is like the one that actually has mechanics in it, right? I don't know, I haven't done Lego Technic since I was about friggin' what, 10? 25 years ago? Oh god, don't, don't do the maths, Theo. <laughs> anyway, Bumblebee Movie, Cliff Jumper, Energon Igniter, that's the one. I forget that Cliff Jumper was actually in the film, but he just got murdered immediately. Oh, Cliff Jumper always dies. He's the one they always just kill to show you that the Decepticons are baddies. Poor old Cliffy J. He deserved better. And we have some manner of R.I.D. Bumblebee. He is large, but not necessarily in charge. <laughs> Holy flip. Okay, he's got an entire spine. It's better than the uh, the Bumblebeans one anyway. There's so many Bumblebees from that line, from, from every line, as we know. So what's this one's thing? He's bigger than the deluxe one, but not so big that he's rubbish. Not terrible though, nice little mid-level Bumblebee, why ever not? And we have this thing. I kind of recognize this. Another R.I.D. Decepticon with a kind of griffin head in there. Is that how it works? Oh wow, okay. So you just kind of squish it, and it turns into like a, a griffin puppy. Like a sort of Shetland pony demon. I'm guessing his name's Underbite, based on no evidence whatsoever. That's kind of all right though, isn't it? Sort of nondescript, Cybertron-y, sort of Blur-esque Robocar, and then Okay. <laughs> I get it. All right, so uh, cheers to uh, Joe at Crosshairs Productions. Thank you, mate. Oh, never boring, is it? All right, is this working for you, the two camera thing? I feel like it's 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 something. Anyway, now I've got two cameras to blur out the addresses on. Anyway, this looks like it's come from <laughs> of New Jersey, and it does seem mildly substantial. Look at this. This is the quintessential open box. Four perfect flaps and a load of mystery. Ooh, item. Let's do the letter first. <laughs> That is a very accurate portrayal of my working process. That is precisely what I'm doing right now. Greetings, mighty few bots. My name is Andy, at GoGoAndyRobo. Yes, we know you, mate. Proud patron and avid fan of your channel for about a decade now. Get you. I started with your early TFA reviews and I was hooked. And I can say that my wallet and shelf space haven't been the same ever since. God, tell me about it. Your rapid fire humor, good nature, robot enthusiasm, and word weaving mastery are always the pleasure to watch. Not my words, the words of GoGo Andy Robo. So it must be right. There's plenty more stuff in here that I could read out, but it's all just about how brilliant I am. But yes, thank you, Andy, and indeed, fiance slash wife thereof. Okay, oh. <laughs> yes, mate, it's me as to. Tough trailer. God, poor old tough trailer. I don't know, I don't know what's happening with that yet. I've, I've heard no updates about the release because I'm still the only one who's had a review of it. I've still got it. I was thinking I might do like a transformation only video about that because like my video is still the only one out there on it and people have been saying they want to see the transformation so I might just do that. Pretty out of character for me but if the people want to see then who am I to deny them? Anyway, we have that's road handler, right? Are these all MicroMasters? Yeah, there's six turbo. Maybe, uh, what's his face? Hyperdrive? I don't know. They're all very sort of homogenous, aren't they, the MicroMasters? If there was ever a strata of character it's okay to confuse, it's the MicroMasters. <laughs> Psykill taking a terrified selfie of Scooter. That's a weird picture. There's a lot of odd sort of tense energies about this picture. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> It's good, but it's, it's freaking me out a bit. Oh, Andy, you're so flipping talented. Anyway, we have a horrible brown plastic bag with uh, some bot bots in it. <laughs> Who's this? Is this the, uh, this is the deodorant stick, isn't it? That looks like these, yeah, yeah, there they go. There they go. A lot of uh, go botty energy I'm sensing today. Looks a lot like Coptour or one of those guys. The penguin, we've seen these before. Are there any we haven't seen? Here we go, we got a sandwich, like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Looks like uh, someone out of Flintstones or something. The giant rib, the comical food that they put on the car. I don't know. <laughs> oh, bot bots. <laughs> Definitely not a GoBots channel. Why does acute me as Psykill, why does that work so well? <gasps> oh no, you did not. Oh, oh yeah. It's the flipping uh, massive bike robo, isn't it? This is the one that is also, s yeah. <laughs> Check him out. He's got the uh, alternative Psykill face. This was the one where um, it's branded Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos, but also they were like, yeah, people like GoBots, don't they? So they put on the Psykill face as well. God, that's so rad. Come on, come on. We're getting in there. Okay, that is actually pretty decent. Because the, um, the regular Machine Robo guys from Action Toys 
Bike Robo was definitely one of the weak ones. He was very poor. I've got like four or five of them. I think the, the I've got the train one, the shuttle, bike, and eagle Robo. Leader one, spacey. Uh, was he Choo Choo Face or whatever? Yeah, the Bike Robo was pretty pretty trash actually. But this, I think, absolutely makes the flip up for that. Look at that ab crunch. Jeepers creepers. Oh God, he's actually got three different Psykill faces. Look at this. You got regular, normal Psykill, sneaky, scheming Psykill, and you got raging Homer Simpson Psykill. <laughs> I just loved his um, sort of scrappier demeanor. Like he looked kind of disheveled with like the five o'clock shadow. You know, he was unhinged. He was just like, yeah, I'll get you, you fuckers. So to swap the heads, we just go, <laughs> Pop that out, and we can stuff that in there. Yeah! <laughs> Masterpiece cycle! Basically. Mate, that's incredible! You know, I know it sounds like a ridiculous Gobot apologist line, but I truly did think Psykill was more fun than Megatron. Megatron has the better legacy and more going on, but for me, Psykill is more fun to watch. Psykill and Crash, a pair of lunatics just blasting out crap zingers and laughing their asses off. I appreciate how simple that face swap is as well. Having said that, can't do it now. <laughs> Come on. Well, that's stuck in there forever, isn't it? Oh well, it is the best one. Ah, oh, beautiful. All right, let's see what else we got, shall we? I love this, but there's more to do. Oh, the phone's full, God. <laughs> All right, we'll just have to solo it. Go back to the classic one camera style. Uh, is this, again, totally not a GoBot? Are these some not GoBots? No, they are not not GoBots. This is uh, very clearly massively discolored, spacey, creamy yellow arm there. And like all the metal bits are just like pure white, big daft black hood, like some kind of space witch. And this, I believe, is Vanguard. God, I love a chunky gray bot. Oh, look at that, that's kind of cool. So he starts off like so, with like the shell and his arms all up there. And you crack it over and it drops like a vest on him. That's cool. That's so simple, but so like interesting. I wonder why that doesn't happen more often. I mean, it probably does. I just can't think of it right now, but <laughs> currently I'm allowed to be impressed. Yeah, cheeky gray vanguard. I think that's who that is. Gobot names, man. Psykill is great, but spacey vanguard because he turns into a van. Do you get it? Weak link. I don't know what these are. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> this is a strange cross-section of interests. This is uh, an attack pack. I bring these up a lot and I always go, oh, have I talked about that before? Like, yeah, all the time. But yes, there were McDonald's attack pack and this one is an A10 that goes, bleh. <laughs> He's got eyeballs in there. That's horrible. It's like one of those um, Ghostbusters, the haunted humans. Why are the eyes inside the creature? That's ridiculous. A, it's gross. B, who cares? And this thing, like some kind of space probe. Bah, 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 bah. Oh no, it's also got an eyeball inside. <laughs> That's like a boss from like Metroid, isn't it? Or R-Type. It goes, ooh, 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 blah, blah, blah. And you've got to shoot the eyeball, right? Right? Am I right, fellow aging nerds? And I'm sensing a distinctly Happy Mealy vibe in here as well. Right, we've got two different little servings of fries. These appear to be completely different. Uh, this one has a tail. <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right. No, no, it's good. Honest, it's good. What a mess. Look at that. So we've got one dinosaur-y looking one, and I feel like this one's gonna look more like a traditional robot. Oh, jeez. Alright, I say traditional robot as in it's got mechanical features, but that is a nightmare. Looks like something out of the Hitchhiker's Guide movie. Or like a background character in Rick and Morty. It's funny to say they're big. It's funny to say they're small. And I think this is the last thing. Yeah, pretty good box this, Andy. Nice one. But we have uh, a, a serving of hot cakes and sausage. Sounds like a saucy detective duo. Hot cakes and sausage, that's what they call me. It's not fat, it's hot cakes. Uh... What am I gonna do about that? Naf robot that turns into a carton of food I've never seen. Okay, I don't know. American McDonald's is strange and foreign to me, but this is ridiculous and I hate it and I love it. Oh, God damn. <laughs> How much odder can it get? I'm sure I'll regret asking that question. But yes, thank you so much, Andy. You have blown my brain out with big GoBot love. Oh, baby. So yes, thank you, Andy. That was spectacular work. And thanks also to Joe over at Crosshairs Productions for the uh, absurd noisemaker. And to Matty Burns, of course, for the continued adventures of Tentacle and Few. And of course, to your lovely self for watching. See you later. Random bitch and Jonah. Ah, all right, good stuff.
stuff. So thanks this time to uh, the one called Anonymous. Ooh. But yeah, I got a patron whose account name is Anonymous. So thanks to whoever that is. Later, baby. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.